Hello, hi, and welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asegamura, and yeah, there is a lot going on in the world right now, okay? <laughs> the Robert Mueller investigation has come to an end, and he has found that there has been no collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign in the 2016 U.S. elections. The Israeli elections are in two weeks, while Palestine and Israel are going at it at the moment and also there was that Ethiopian uh, Airlines plane crash where CNN tried to get smart and fresh with all of us by trying to thwart uh, black and African excellence and not blaming Boeing as it should be but they were quickly called to order however I thought we should you know speak about something positive today University of KwaZulu Natal professor Dean and world-renowned dermatologist Ecologist Professor Moza Njova uh, has helped uncover the gene that causes permanent hair loss in African women. Now, this has been a collaborative effort uh, between herself and some U.S. scientists. Okay, and they finally found that this gene. PAD13 is actually the cause of CCCA. The condition is made worse by heat, chemicals, and breeding. Okay, so the amazing thing is that now that they know what causes uh, this condition, they can stop it, they can manage it, and they can treat it. And also, it is even more sweeter, the fact that at the center of this discovery is an African woman. I think this actually comes at the perfect time where women in the African diaspora, you know, are learning how to take care of their natural hair. I think the time is absolutely perfect. You know, five years ago, especially in South Africa, from my experience, is that women walking around with their afros, that was like really random, you know what I mean? And, you know, people would think, okay, no, she's broken, she's waiting for month end because that wasn't the norm, which is crazy. The norm was just break and uh, weaves etc but natural hair was rare in Africa I mean the strangeness is beyond me but you know right now we're starting to embrace our natural hair even more which is amazing so I don't have CCCA but I've had like patches in my hair because of excessive hair dyeing like I've dyed my hair blonde red you name it, I've done it, okay, and I've had to shave my hair because of the excessive dye. Mm, yeah, it's been a journey. So, to be at this point now where we're discovering these amazing things about our hair is just like, yes, yay to us, okay, because unfortunately, wearing our natural hair actually comes with that responsibility that it's not just hair, right? It's a political statement of beauty, of consciousness of awakening right and there is that responsibility there is that heaviness on our shoulders every time we do wear our natural hair but yeah okay so black excellence hello how you doing all right i love you guys he's a talent to serve humanity and i will see you on thursday